Hello, everyone. How is it going? What's going on? What's going on? Welcome to a new series that we're calling Asia Teaches Me Things. My name is Asia. I'm a customer experience uh, specialist here at Switcher Studio, and I'm so excited to be doing um, some live streams here and hanging out with all of you awesome people and just talking through um, just like some easy, fun hacks um, that make your experience using Switcher Studio that much more polished, like give it that extra something, something. Um, and I'm just like, yeah, really excited to be here. And it's been a second since we've um, done some live streams. So very excited to kick off this series. Like hopefully we'll do this like pretty often, but I can't do this on my own. I definitely need my good friend, Claire. So welcome in, Claire. <laughs> hey. <laughs> How's it going? Um good how are you doing i'm doing great um many you, of you may know claire and don't know that you know her if you've seen any <laughs> um, posts on social media on any of the platforms um that is uh thanks to claire who is the social media manager uh but yeah this is i'm excited about this <laughs> me too uh, yeah kind of the face behind the curtain um yes. so to speak but yeah i'm really excited for you to teach me all kinds of things and um Yay. excited to uh, get started <laughs> oh yeah so today um we figured that we would uh just explore some pretty simple tricks uh that make a huge difference um we're gonna be talking about customizing graphics that are um like set designs that um, you can use in Switcher and um, or that are like in app uh, designs in Switcher. Sorry, I'm like all tongue tied this morning um, afternoon. It's already 12. It's fine. Um, but specifically, uh, <laughs> we're going to be. Yeah, it totally counts. Uh, learning, sort of. <laughs> yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, so we are going to be looking at the native graphics um, that are available in Switcher, and we're going to show how you can um, customize things like by just changing uh, the the copy, the fonts, the the hex colors. Which, if you guys don't know much about hex colors, uh, we'll play around with that today. Uh, but Claire, how is your day going? <laughs> It's good so good. far. Um, I'm not going to lie. I'm a little nervous. This is the yeah. first time I've been on a live stream, but, um, <laughs> <laughs> but I'm glad that I'm doing it with you. So yes, um, that yes. makes things better. <laughs> yeah. Honestly, I always feel like, uh, like nervous when I do live streams, but also I'm like, let's just get it over with. But then I always have a yeah. great time, like whenever <laughs> we're actually live. So I'm happy to do this with you. <laughs> yes. Yeah, yeah, for sure. It's just a conversation between. Yeah, friends, so. totally, yeah. totally, <laughs> totally is. Um, and thanks everyone for joining us. Um, real quick, um, regarding questions um, that we may be getting during the stream, uh, we're happy to answer all the questions. But specifically, the ones that we'll address on the stream will be regarding um, just what we're walking through today. So um, specifically customizing graphics, any questions you may have about that. But we totally get that that is like a very specific uh, set of questions. And if you have other questions uh, that are maybe like time pressing, um, feel free to write into our support team, which I'm a part of. Um, and you can just email us support at switcherstudio.com. Um, but let's go ahead and um, look at our little screen here. Um, so for also shout out to the uh, marketing team just in general for making these awesome graphics. Look how cute all of this looks. I know we really kind of had a, you know, the, the A team on all of it, including <laughs> Asia. Um, but yeah, our designers and um, Chelsea and Katie and mm -hmm. um, Dan, who also did the intro, B-roll yeah. intro. <laughs> I know that intro is like next level. <laughs> it is. It makes me look like a creep a little bit, but. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, not at all. <laughs> Um, I I love that he included that um, uh, yeah, peeking behind funny. the <laughs> so great. Okay, so um, many of you who have used Switcher are pretty um well versed with just like the types of graphics that are available. Um, when you tap the plus menu and tap text and graphics, um, a ton of option like categories appear, and um, we're just gonna use this um 
your tech or I guess they all say your text here, but this top right one um, as an example of like just the cool like customizations that are available um, uh, within the app. Like obviously uh, as an example of what you can do outside the app, um, you can see this banner that's below us, the Asia Teach Me Thing banner. Like, yes, you can definitely design any PNGs with uh, clear backgrounds and like use them as an overlay and switcher, which is super awesome. I'm glad that capability is there, but you don't always have a, like a full on design team <laughs> to make things. And um, <laughs> and there are really cool things that you can do on your own without like any additional like uh, team members. So um, this is my favorite one to test on. Um, so to, to begin with, um, available in the app or um, on the dashboard, there is an option to create your brand profile. And actually, let me just, um, uh, I'm going to back out. I'm going to, you know, we're just doing this off the cuff. But let me just show you, um, <laughs> you can set up your brand profile. I actually don't even remember what um, what logo I have uploaded here. Oh, I don't even have one yet. So, um <laughs> you can create your color scheme for your brand, whether it's like um, like a worship service, it's like your church's like color scheme or any business, um, any like live shopping um, network you're creating, whatever your colors may be, like you can save them here, which is super cool. And then you can upload a logo, um, which I can do at another time, I guess. Um, I'm a little bit nervous. I don't know what my uh, my camera roll looks like right now. <laughs> so um so once you have that set, it makes it a lot easier. I'm just going to go ahead and edit this one since we are here already. Yeah. Um, you can apply that brand profile to quickly change um, like all the colors to what you'd like. And if you don't like that combination, you can just tap theme and um, tap shuffle select colors, which is super cool. Um, this so looks very like that, Halloween. -y. Yeah. Is that transparency? I see. I don't, yes. I mean, yeah. How do you do that? <laughs> Oh my really gosh, the cool. transparency. Like a I know. On there. Yeah, it's super cool. So um, one of my favorite things um, about this particular graphic is the like capability for transparency. And um, you can go down to background transparency by just scrolling down this um, uh, customizations like panel thing and um, mm -hmm. just run. Oh, wrong one. And wait, just kidding. This one. <laughs> <laughs> um, the text transparency you can change and then this background transparency you can adjust as well which is super cool um, we're gonna go ahead and just um, use not the, this color uh, combination we'll use this one just uh, for funsies and um, you can also change the font right now uh, F Futura or F is it Futura or Futura I'm not I never know uh -huh. I have no idea. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Whenever I'm trying to read font me, names, I'm like, uh. <laughs> this is making me want to go to like school for design just so I know. that I know how to talk about all of this stuff. <laughs> right. Um, okay. We're just going to change it to this Arial uh, rounded uh, bold font for fun. And that is already like something that you can do to upgrade or like just change, customize, um, the looks of these graphics to what you want um, for your streams. And um, we can also align the text, um, but it might be easier to tell by just, let's just type in Asia teaches, and then we'll do in the second line, me things. And as you can see, I'm not like typing any capitals, but because um, this uppercase toggle is turned on, it already does it for you, which is super nice. Uh, you can toggle that off too if you don't like that. Um, and then now we can see we can change the text alignment depending on what you want to use um, this uh, graphic for. And um, um, some other cool things I like specifically about this is um, you can change the padding. So the padding is just like the space between or like um, on the edges around the text box um, so we can make it like wider and fatter yeah. it's pretty cool and that is that changes isn't the way awesome? it looks I know so significantly right too so like I mean you when you first see some of the graphic assets they look really nice but mm -hmm. you're kind of like how do I 
really make this feel like my brand. Um, right. And even just adding that space um, exactly. makes a huge difference. Yeah. Um, and so my other favorite thing, I feel like this is very trendy right now. Claire, you have the um, the pulse on all the trendy things <laughs> in social media. Um, but this corner radius um, is like my favorite. Oh, yes. The rounded corner. Yes. yes. The bulbous corner. The, <laughs> the look of the, the IG reels yes. um, for the summer 2022. Yeah. Um, <laughs> That's so but funny. Yeah, it looks that looks great. <laughs> Um, so the next thing is, um, that you can do is you can like move this around, which is super cool. Uh, if we just move this to the side here, it creates a different look. Um, so typically when we think of, um, like title graphics, we think like front and center, but that's not, that doesn't always have to be the case when it comes to, um, um, like creating title, um, assets. And pr in particular, I actually use this design, um, and um and yeah I, I use this design in my my personal streams which is super fun and um i think it's a really cool um i don't know effect so let me just show you what it looks like so if i tap this camera which is like my background camera right now um we can ooh, do a cool little like side uh uh title which is super fun but um that's basically um like what it looks like to adjust the properties of like what is already offered in Switcher. Um, and one last thing I forgot to share is the hex code thing. Um, let's go to box color and um, uh, if you open the, the color, you can see we can either use a slider tool to just like select anything. But if you are working with a specific like color that you need, it, as long as you can get the hex codes, you can tap this color uh, CC, CSS color code and then just paste in whatever the code may be. So um, now it really looks like the Hulk, but I'm going to leave it because it looks fun. <laughs> um, but yeah, so. So now it updates in real time, which is super nice. And you just activate it again if you want to use it right away. Um, but yeah, those are some pretty simple ways to adjust graphics. And um, um, yeah, I don't know. I think it's really fun. That is really fun. I mean, I, I feel like you also have a great eye for like color and style and all that. So that makes a huge difference. But I think honestly, I'm excited to get back in Switcher and start playing around with my own assets and, yeah. and just like really trying to find um a fun brand theme for the live streams that i want to do so. yeah i know <laughs> it's so fun cool. it, it is it's awesome um well i i mean i guess i don't know if we really talked about this but um did we touch on like hex code and like yeah. how we can Mm -hmm. use that yeah um i showed that hex code um example i also went ahead and like made a little overlay you can see for this awesome asia teaches me things uh uh like brand profile we've got going on um it might be a little bit hard to see in um on your screen depending on if you're using a phone or computer but you can see there are like little um numbers at the bottom and th that is like a corresponding um or that code corresponds to a specific color and so then you can go into um your uh whatever color you want i'm just gonna do the box color again and you can select and i have some of mine saved already for my brand profile um oh perfect and yeah. so i just tap that and that way um i know I don't know why I know this off the top of my head, but I've just like typed this code so many times. But yeah, a uh, oh my four, gosh, a, that's CF awesome! Is, like, I feel like Chelsea, <laughs> Chelsea and Katie would be very proud. Um, Thank those you. are <laughs> designers. Um, no, but I do feel like that's something that's super useful if you are a graphic designer or mm -hmm. you have brand standards, um, like how you pulled from that palette. That yeah. reminds me of like a brand standard yeah um, document that you would use so that's Definitely. super helpful yeah so super cool do you have any other questions um i don't really but i don't know if um we want to like think about some of the questions that uh our viewers might have yeah, um for sure 
Yeah. So I guess um, one thing that, um, well, I was wondering, um, Mm -hmm. but probably some other people might be wondering is, um, is this something that you can apply to clips that you're exporting? Um, And I guess, how would you do that? (laughs) Yeah. So obviously, when you're uh, when you're streaming, just you know, whatever event, um, it's always fun to use um, these designs like in real time when you're live. But of course, whenever you create clips, there's always opportunities where, like, oh, I should have put this here or oh, I should title this something else uh, that's different than my lower third I used. Um, and so you can definitely do that by creating a clip. Um, let's see if we can do this here. Um, if you tap on your your menu and go to your recordings and create a clip. Here's like an old one I made. Um, We're just gonna create a new clip using this. Um, We can create a layer um, and, um, you know, create any title we want. So I'm just gonna pick that and um, let's go back. And we're gonna change the title to uh, random. because all of my content is so random not right on (laughs) um which is really cool and um we can like add like a highlight color just so it pops up from the um from the background and we can change the size we can adjust where it goes it's really cool so that way you add a layer that um like overlays on your clip which is nice Uh, and it's it's worth noting that um it the title will show up for the entire time um the clip is playing you can't like adjust good to know yeah Yeah. you can't adjust like um starting with the title and then it being removed but um it's this really neat um little tool uh that will allow you to title your your awesome clips you're creating with switcher so yeah well and also i guess if you're taking a clip from um when you're switching if you mm-hmm. added assets in the middle that mm-hmm. will carry over yeah um when you export the clip too so um well that's awesome yeah, yeah. again like i love my reels so that's a fun thing to add to the yeah <laughs> to the for reels. Sure. <laughs> you're so great also <laughs> super random thing Anytime we we are in this layout, it reminds me to sit up straight because I always feel myself like sinking, and it definitely oh has to do with my chair a little bit because it's kind of broken. But um, are you calling me like, out? No, 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 no. <laughs> I'm saying you're the standard. I'm the I'm the one that's slouching. <laughs> no, no, I'm I'm totally teasing, but I feel like I'm very consciously having to remind myself not to swivel in this swivel chair. Oh. So. <laughs> You're doing great. Like, You're like super oh, in no. frame. Nope. <laughs> I love it. Cool. Let's That's see. Awesome. Yeah, I mean, but those are some really like simple tricks and I'm really excited to like keep exploring and keep learning things um, and sharing them here. But awesome. But yeah. Well, yeah, I guess. Um, well, I one thing that as a I would say a 101 Mm -hmm. um switcher user uh, (laughs) myself uh i guess if you wouldn't mind telling me if i close out of switcher is that Mm. just gonna like erase all of the assets that i've created Created. like or will like will they reset or Mm -hmm. um since it's like the native um switcher graphic right right want to make that's, sure I'm not losing all of yeah. my work. <laughs> no, that's a great question. Um, yeah. So any say or any like adjustments that you um, save for your customized uh, switcher asset or like in-app assets uh, that you've created with switcher, um, they stay the same or they, they um, save those changes. So if I close out of my app, which I won't do right now because... I'm not going to lie. I have a lot of notifications on a bunch of apps and I don't want anyone to judge me. So I'm not going to minimize my app. Um, But if I were to close it and open it back up again, um, you definitely will see this customized title asset um, still intact with the, you know, with the font that you chose, the size, position, all that stuff will stay the same. Um, There are currently um, like if you are to were to change like, um, let's say like a transition and there was like a color option there that you could pick that you would have to um, 
go ahead and yeah. like change back from default. But anything that you save in your sources panel and of your assets, that always stays the same. So it's really, it's a, it gives you peace of mind. It's a lot less That's work. Nice. So yeah. And I guess too, if you're starting with your brand profile and mm -hmm. you have those basic uh like fonts and uh, right. colors and transparencies and that kind mm -hmm. of thing then that's just going to be automatically applied yeah definitely well. and then if you um one thing i will say i think i i pulled it up i didn't really um uh, like address it is yeah for brand profile you get um your primary secondary and tertiary color which is awesome um if, if this will load for me yeah so um you get um like three options basically but um, if you, oh, well, let me just do this. Let me edit this. If you go into um, like, oh, sorry. I accidentally pressed home. No worries. <laughs> well, you guys, hopefully no one saw my notifications. Um, <laughs> I didn't notice. <laughs> if you, um, oh, now you can see my cute keyboard. Um, yes. We had to get a, a cameo of that. <laughs> yes. Um, if you scroll down to any of these like non-brand profile options, you'll see that in addition to your brand profile colors, you can also just like save colors here by, let's just say I wanted, I keep going to green. I don't necessarily want to. Um, let's say I want to save this color. I don't, what is this? Cranberry-ish. Um, if I wanted to save this color, I could just go to any of the like unfilled circle or um, squares, not circles, it's a shapes, Asia, um, and just tap it. And that way it saves some extra colors that maybe maybe you have like a few more um, in mm -hmm. your brand package that you want that don't fit in your brand profile. And you can like put your extras here. And if you want to remove a color, you just like hold um, one of the boxes to remove it, which is nice. Oh, and then you can awesome. fill them with the same ones if for whatever reason you wanted to. But yeah, I think that's another helpful, um, super helpful tool. So, um, and again, asking for the beginners and the basic switcher users. Yeah. <laughs> but um, I'm assuming that when you go to create an asset, um, if you don't have your brand profile set up, mm -hmm. will you have to sort of start from scratch if you're going to create a new asset or is there a way to like copy over yes um, an asset yeah so that you can just edit the asset <laughs> yeah say i wanted to like keep this asset but i want to change the text to to be like a see you later or whatever um mm -hmm. you can just hold long press the um asset that you want to duplicate and then you just go down to the second option duplicate and ta-da um okay. And then you can just go into your duplicate and then edit whatever properties to awesome. say whatever. <laughs> oh, you know, I like so. to save time. Yes, definitely. <laughs> so many posts to create. Too many so posts. So many. Yeah. <laughs> that's but, yeah. awesome. Well, that's very cool. I feel like I am much more confident going into Yay, my good. next live stream creation. Awesome. So. <laughs> Um, thank you so much, Asia. <laughs> for sure. Thanks for hanging with me. Um, yeah, this is awesome. We'll definitely be doing this again. Yes. Um, I'm so excited. I think we're going to do the, try to do this at least once monthly. So yes. um, we, we want uh, your recommendations, um, switcher users, for topics you'd like to see us cover, um, whether they're sort of more, I guess, beginner topics or, mm -hmm. you know, even more detailed things um, that you'd like to see. Um, so we, we want ideas. Um, we're excited to, um, again, like have Asia teach me things. Yeah. Uh, so um, yeah, let us know what you want us to cover. Yes, definitely. Thanks for hanging with us, Claire. We'll see you next time. Yeah. Thanks, Asia. Bye. 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 <laughs> Thank you, everyone, for joining us. Uh, you guys are the best. Um, until next time, uh, have fun exploring all the things Switcher has to offer. Um, share what um, things you're creating with Switcher by using um, hashtag uh, made, with Switcher, made with Switcher, if I can say it correctly. Um, but thank you guys so much for being here. We'll see you next on September um, 20th. Can I say it? 27th? September 27th. I uh, got all mixed up. Um, and yeah, we'll learn more things together and share all that knowledge and hang out with you guys soon. Okay. We'll see you later. Bye.